Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iPhone or iPod Touch 3.1.2. This is the jailbreak we've all been waiting for. This works on 3G, 3GS for iPhones, um, first generation, second generation, and third generation for iPod Touches. So I'm pretty sure it works for like everything. And before I start this video, this isn't the real jailbreak, but before you click off immediately, you have to do this part. You have to. Because instead of updating to 3.1, you can't do that. You have to restore to 3.1. And if you have no clue how to do that, this is how it's done. You're going to have to go to felixbruns.de slash iPod slash firmware slash. I'm going to put the link in the description. And once you're here, you're just going to find iPhone and iPod Touch. Click on the little arrow downwards. And just find the firmware 3.1.2 on whatever iPod Touch or iPhone you have. So I'm just going to find iPod Touch 2G 3.1.2 and click it. Then I'm going to click download. Then I'm going to click save and change the extension to I have ZIP a uh, zipped folder. Change that to IPSW and instead of this you might have it apple software update device file whatever keep that that is good but i have a winrar zip archive so i'm just going to change that to all files the main point is you need it all files or apple software update device and you need the extension to be ipsw then you're going to click save i'm not going to do that because i'm just going through the steps with you guys so once you have that done you're going to need to go into iTunes and let's go over to my camera and see how you put your iPod Touch into DFU mode. Alright guys, so you're going to need to have your iPod plugged in into your computer. But the point is you're just going to have to turn it on and then hold down the power and the home button for 10 seconds. and then release the power button and keep holding the menu button for about eight and there you go your iPod is in DFU mode and on the computer something should pop up alright iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode you must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes that just means that your iPod is in DFU mode and you've done it correctly. So let's go back to the computer and watch the rest of the video. Okay guys, now that you have this screen up and your iPod or iPhone is in DFU mode, you will see a button here called Restore. Do not click that yet. What you're going to need to do first is hold down Shift. So just hold down Shift and then click Restore. What happens is this little window comes up. So what you're going to need to do is find your firmware, and mine would be in the desktop, I don't have it, but what you're going to need to do is, let's just say this is it, just click on that, and then click open, and it'll start the whole entire thing, and once it's done, you can sync your iPod back up, and then your iPod or iPhone will be restored, and your firmware will be 3.1.2, and you'll be ready for part two of the jailbreak. So I hope this goes well, and this is KYCTS signing out.